elegance and beauty has reminded some of the young Katharine Hepburn. And after winning bronze at the 92 Olympics, it appeared a gold medal was in Nancy Kerrigan's immediate future. Then came the 93 World Championships, where she finished fifth. Suddenly, there was doubt. This season, however, the old Nancy was back, and arriving at the U.S. Nationals, she was ready to make a statement to the skating community, but she never got the chance. Here's our Kevin Cusick. So when we came to Detroit, very much excited about the national championships, the first practice we went to was Nancy Kerrigan's. We taped the practice, we shut off the camera, and while we did, a man with a club tried to take away Nancy's dream. It seemed to be a normal practice session for Nancy Kerrigan as she checked in with her coaches, Evie and Mary Scottfold. Although she said she was bothered by a sore leg, she was practicing her free program, getting set to defend her national championship. She finished her skate, exited the ice, and went down this hallway. And that would change her path to the Olympics. While a man waited behind this curtain, barely visible to our camera just seconds before the camera was turned off. This man, who appears as an obscure shadow through magnified video, assaulted the Olympic gold medal favorite. In an instant, the story at Nationals became not who won, but what happened to Nancy Kerrigan. Her crisis unfolded on the world stage as the story at Nationals. Nancy Kerrigan will not be competing in the 1994 legs United States Figure Skating Championships. The reason is a thigh contusion or bruise that's associated with knee swelling. I was just really upset and hurt, angry. It's hard to explain. I, I just really wanted to skate. I can't believe that one human being would deliberately, deliberately hurt her. But someone did deliberately hurt Nancy Kerrigan. We go back to the practice session Thursday, January 6th, and there, invisible to everyone, a man had carefully positioned himself inside Cobo Arena, and everyone wondered, where did he come from? He would have had to have come from this direction, and then he would have been standing behind this blue curtain here. He would have attacked her on the run, hit her. She was right here when she went down, and our, our cameras at that point showed her in the excruciating pain that she was in at that point. There were people helping her when someone said he ran this way. So if we come down this way, you'll see that he went down this hallway here. And it looks as though on the videotape that there was a possibility he didn't know which way to go. And possibly did not have an escape route. Went out to the right. So he must have apparently run through this door here. He came around. This is where I saw the person working at the arena. And it's this glass door here, plexiglass door, that he popped out. It was full speed. When he just bust through the door and ran straight on out. And I didn't see How him. How did he get around the rail? There's a rail here. I know. He came through it. He went through like, like, like down and under. But he came through with full force. And did you get a look at him? I yeah, saw I him. I saw him. I saw him. Well, here, here, After this incredible incident, a flurry of activity would heighten this drama. Tall white guy with a, with a leather jacket on our cameraman, Gene Samuels, continued to roll as security guards frantically tried to find him. But by then, he was gone. And as we watched Nancy's dad carry his daughter to safety, who could have imagined that this was the image we would be left with when Nancy Kerrigan came to nationals? I really wanted to be out there and perform, but it was out of my hands at that point. Although she did not skate at nationals, she would not be denied a chance to compete at the Winter Olympics in Lillehammer. Nancy will compete again. So as we try to put this bizarre story behind us, a bewildering turn of events now clouds ladies figure skating yet again. A story even more unfathomable, Tanya Harding, the champion of the U.S. nationals, has ended up in the middle of the events surrounding the attack. She's only 23, but nonetheless a veteran in the ladies' division. As a youth, she honed her skills at a rink at the local mall. 
a remarkable success would generate headlines and expectations. In 1991, she was the U.S. national champion and took silver at Worlds. This time, her national title is tainted, a premeditated attack with those accused in the plot, part of Tanya Harding's inner circle.